What up, Mugman Nation? In this video, we will be beating the Cuphead DLC using Twist Up only. And you guys already know, this will be on Expert. I would have done it in one video, but this challenge took me a while, actually. The DLC has its own difficulties that I had to go through, so I decided to make it its own video. Next time, hopefully, I'll be able to combine them. Also, thank you guys for 1K subscribers. I love you all. Shout out to the Mugman Nation, baby. Hey, if you're subscribed and part of the Mugman Nation, leave a comment telling me how much you hate Cuphead. Let's get started. Let's jump straight into it with the first boss of aisle four and that will be glumstone the giant glumstone the giant with twist up was pretty good but i actually had to learn to use it correctly before it was actually able to do tons of damage i was having issues with the first phase because if i lost the beginning platforms i wouldn't know what to do i would fall under the pressure and eventually i would just like get hit and die but i adapted and i learned that if i could just stand in the middle of the stage and angle my twist up down it made things a lot easier i was able to hit every single shot and i was doing tons of damage all i had to do was focus on dodging those attacks the only thing i I had to look out for were those little gnomes that shoot those gold nuggets at you. Eventually, I started taking my matter into my own hands and taking them out, like ASAP. The second phase where Twist Up really shined, it worked great. I never missed a shot, and I just did tons of damage. Honestly, I don't have to go over this phase that much. I think it can explain itself from the video. Uh, go use Twist Up on phase two on Glumps of the Giant, guys, please. And the final phase, once again, designed for Twist Up. Really good weapon to use for this boss, I would, would recommend. But I mean, what a coincidence that the DLC weapon works better on the DLC bosses in the base game. Like, crazy how that works, huh? Let's go. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to die. Mortimer Freeze is boss number two on this Twist Up extravaganza. And once again, surprise, surprise, this boss was designed for Twist Up to be used on it. During the first phase, I just had to stand right underneath him, dodging his little minions, dodging the card attack, and dodging the big fish slam attack. The second phase, I just stood right in front of him and used my Twist Up nonstop. Like, it's really good for something like that, you know? Everything in phase two was really easy to dodge. I was able just to stand there, do my dps with twist up and get that phase done with really quickly i think i only died like three or four times on this boss total the third phase was even easier all you had to do was stand in front of him the only attack i had some trouble with was the ice cream attack and i don't know why my brain just would not let me dodge the ice cream attack dude there's nowhere to, there's like so little Literally, I want to get it like covers every single platform. I eventually clutched it out on my second try on the final phase, and honestly, I would definitely recommend Twist Up. This, this the boss wasn't hard, and I felt like I was doing a ton of damage. Great EX, great shooting. Go try Twist Up on Mortimer Freeze. Yes, let's go. Finally, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. The third boss is Howling Aces, and there isn't much to say here without sounding like a broken record. The first phase is very easy. Once again, the boss is above you, and all you have to do is just keep using your twist up. Honestly, there seems to be like a, a like a like a theme here. The the bosses are in the DLC are just always above you, which makes it prime time for twist up, baby. So break out that twist up during the DLC, okay, guys? Second phase also very easy with twist up. Once again, they're literally above you. Uh, I, I don't gotta really see anything else third phase guys everything's above you i'm i'm just gonna play the footage i'm not gonna say anything guys go use twist up for any any boss fight in this dlc okay let's go okay yeah, that wasn't that bad at all. The final boss before we finish it up with Chef Salt Baker is the Moonshine Mob. And honestly, I beat this boss on my third try. Almost first try. It's crazy that a DLC weapon works extremely well for the DLC bosses, right? Like, like what a coincidence. Maybe, maybe Twist Up isn't so bad. It was actually great for the DLC. I was having a great time. I was beating all the bosses in like three, four, five tries. Nothing was taking me long. I was breezing through this challenge. All I had left to face was the final boss chef salt baker i was feeling confident and nothing was gonna stand in my way i was gonna finish strong and complete this challenge upload it to youtube and get a million subscribers boy was i wrong
Chef Saltbaker, for whatever reason, was the hardest thing I've ever faced. I don't know if it was because Twist Up sucked. I don't know if I sucked. I don't know if Expert Chef Saltbaker was harder than I remember, but this boss was destroying my mental. The first phase wasn't terrible. The first few tries, I had to adjust because phase one of Chef Saltbaker on Expert was really hard, even if I'm not only using Twist Up. There's so much stuff on the screen at once. Like, I got a full focus or else I'd instantly get hit. I think about anything else, boom, I'd lose a health. The sugar, limes, and strawberry combo was probably the most killer combo that could be thrown at me. And then even if I made it through the first phase, the second phase was still extremely hard. These stupid pepper shakers are going to haunt my dreams, man. They were in the second phase. And honestly, it was pretty satisfying how I could just see in the middle, fire my twist up, and I hit the top two pepper shakers. But there was just so much stuff on the screen. You had the leaves. You had the weird balls the pepper shakers would shoot. You had those weird fireballs jumping around. It was, it was torture. It was very mentally taxing. Boxing. No, why did that one sneeze? This boss fight on Expert seems like notorious for having a lot of stuff on the screen. But, hey, maybe, I guess, I guess Expert has to be hard. You know, I guess it makes sense. The third phase wasn't too bad. Just sometimes the hitbox was weird. But other than that, nothing, nothing, lost, nothing, to, say, nothing to say about this. Nothing to say about this phase right here. Now, the fourth phase was the phase that probably gave me the most trouble. Hitting this dumb little floating heart with my twist up proved to be quite the task. I had to keep jumping and hitting it nonstop. And it would take like a minute on this stage alone and one slip up would be the death of me because I would just make it to that stage with like one health. I had no EX part. Had none. I was losing my mind. I've been fighting this boss for four hours straight. How much torture can one man take? I was stuck in Chef Salt Baker Purgatory, and the only way out was to finish this final stage and beat Chef Salt Baker for good. I jumped. I landed on the platform and I jumped. I knew that if I could just get to that final phase with at least two health, I would be able to clutch it out. And eventually, I got my chance. I had a superb first phase. It was textbook. I, I three health at the end. I was dodging everything perfectly. I was really feeling myself going into this run. During the second phase, the pepper shakers decimated. I think I only got hit once. I was dodging those leaves, dodging those little fireballs, dodging those little spike balls that they were shooting at me. It was easy money, man. Easy money. I was in those pepper shakers straight into his face the third phase once again nothing to say here really easy <laughs> and i finally made it to the final phase with two health left I had to focus on my character. I was just staring at him the whole time, holding my breath. I adopted a strategy where if the heart was above me, I'd be able to do tons of damage to it because, you know, twist up the boss is above me. It's been like all the other DLC bosses. So I'd wait for the heart to rise up and then I would start aiming at the heart. Other than that, I would never aim at it. Eventually, after about a minute of just a lot of jumping and a lot of shooting, I managed to defeat the heart of Chef Salt Baker and I was finally free from Chef Salt Baker Purgatory and Twist Up Hell. Yeah! About damn time. And that is the end of the twist up challenge. If there's any more challenge you guys want me to do, leave a comment. Thank you everyone for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Go Mugman Nation. Woo! Yeah. <laughs>